Hi, everybody. I'm so excited to be before you. You know, we just had an awesome service on the day here at the Healing Room in Houston, Texas. And I have with me the wonderful, the beautiful Sister Paula and her mother. Amen. And they have a testimony, amen, that they want to share with you. Um, I think it was about what a year. How long has it been now? About two months. A couple months ago. Go ahead and um, tell us what happened, Sister Paula. Okay, we was in the hospital and we was in the, uh, they was up a little bit. We was in the hospital and my mom was getting ready for a procedure. They said her kidneys had failed on her. So they said that she was going to have to go on a dialysis. So my nephew called um, the prophet here. Uh -huh. And the prophet, you know, got on the phone and she talked to my mom while we was in the, the, the hospital room. And she prayed for my mother. Now I want, I want to interrupt you right here. Uh -huh. When they called me on the phone, they called me and they said, Prophetess Alyssa, we at the hospital with our, they call, we call her granny, amen, granny. I call her granny. granny. And they said, we at the hospital with granny and um, they need to do a procedure. Her kidney was at, what, 1% or something like that? They failed. They weren't they were, working. They weren't working at all. It complete kidney failure shut down, amen. And they said, we got, was it an emergency surgery? Yeah. Emergency surgery. And they brought her there because she was having pain when she was sick. She was very sick. But she had pain, though, right? Yes, she used the bathroom? Pain. Yeah. Okay. She, she couldn't use the bathroom. Go ahead and tell her, Yeah. Well, in the hospital, well, uh, I couldn't uh, make water. So immediately they called different specialists come in and they, you know, would, you know, they was wondering what to do. So uh, they said immediately, we got the, we gonna, we gonna do a procedure. Mm -hmm. And uh, and Carl had called, called you. He said, I want you to pray for my granny. Mm -hmm. And uh, I get, uh, he had, uh, I held the phone. He got you in touch with me. And you prayed, I mean you, I mean you just didn't pray no, I mean you prayed a while. You prayed a while. I mean, you, hey, you reached heaven up there. Amen. <laughs> we reached heaven. So, I mean, uh, they went on, took me in, and some way, somehow, that miracle come through. Look at God. The, and you know what? The most interesting thing about it to me was that God performed a miracle right then and there. Because she was getting ready to go into surgery. And they were getting and the thing about it was is that she already only had one kidney. Right? Yeah, that's right. So we all have two kidneys. What happened to your other kidney? Yeah, cancer. Yeah, uh, they had to take it out before uh, they found a spot on it. Okay, so they had found a spot on her kidney and they took it out. So how long had you only had one kidney? Oh, that was in 2012. No, no chemo or nothing. God just come through for me like that. No and he healed, he healed her from cancer. From cancer no then. No chemo or nothing. I mean, look at God. So she's operating since 2012 with one kidney. Amen. She only has one kidney, and the kidney that she does have, it began to malfunction until it just wasn't working at all. Amen. But how many of us know about the power of prayer? Hobia shot God. Rede, something about prayer. Amen. This is why God said, I will make my house a prayer. And this is why I want to invite you down to the healing room. Amen. Because it is the miracles like these that God does through the healing room. You know, we're living in our last day and ages, and God wants to perform real bona fide miracles that we can see. You know, God spoke to me. He said the difference between a miracle and the difference between a wonder is that a miracle is something that you can touch. Hobia, yes. but a wonder is something yes. that you can't touch, but it's yes. all still God. Amen. And God is doing miracles and wonders in this season. Yes. And this woman right here is a miracle. Amen. We call her granny. Amen. Yes. She called. We prayed. I prayed. Amen. Called on heaven. Yes. God gave her a miracle right then and there in that hospital bed. And you know what the doctors came to her and said? We don't even have to perform surgery. Hope Shabaya. Hallelujah. You, what you going to say, Paula? No dialysis. No dialysis. 
Yeah, they wanted to put her on dialysis. They wanted to perform a procedure, right? Right. And then after, I remember they were going to open something up. What was they going to open up? They was a donor. Do that with that. They was going to do some kind of procedure. They were going to go through my. They went through my back. Okay. And when they done that procedure, when they waited a while, they think just. Wow. So did she ever go in for the procedure? She never had the surgery well, though, right? No surgery, but you no know, just surgery. the procedure went down in and, you know, like to go in and look at it and, you know. But then and, after- and they had to watch, they, they still, they didn't know about the miracle. <laughs> Cause they come in there, come in there. Numbers went to rise. What? Numbers went to rise. What? Look at now what are these numbers that you're talking about? Help us yeah, call. The numbers is your, your, your kidney failure. The higher the number goes uh, on your kidneys, and and the kidneys were shut down. Uh -huh. They had stopped completely. They, stopped. they had stopped. So she mm -hmm. was urinating or nothing. They had stopped completely. So uh, after and the, and uh, they did procedure and they found a little procedure. And they started, you know, after the Lord prayed because the prayer. I mean, all they started the prayers do is so when they went up. I mean, like the day, I mean, Lord just, the Lord just did it. He done so, it. That was a miracle. That was a miracle. A miracle. So I what mean, I want to know, tell us this, is I want to know how did the doctors respond when they came back? All of this happened in one day or was it No, days? no, I went back for, for, for a checkup. A checkup? And I found out, he said, you had us work. You had us work. So how did the doctors respond in the hospital when they found out that she didn't have to have the dialysis. That's what I would They know. come through there smiling. Still smiling like. Smiling. But I told them, I said, I serve a miracle God. And then I, I said, thank, they, I, I know they heard me. I said, thank you, Jesus. Yes. For that miracle. But before, you, you know, you had to send up a powerful prayer. You were speaking in tongues. I said, oh, this lady is on fire. Well, that's it, my brothers and my sisters. That's the miracle, amen. And that is the testimony we have here with us, Sister Paula, and um, I call her Granny. And what's your Ruth, real name? Ruth, Ruth. Ruth, amen. Let's continue to keep Ruth lifted in prayer, amen. And let's give God all of the praise because God is a healer, amen. When you think that, amen, it's over for you, God wants you to know that he is still yet in authority. And that's what God ministered to us today is that he is an authority, he is a healer, he's a deliverer, and always remember that healing is still the children's bread, amen, and that's what God did, amen, he took one kidney that was malfunctioning and had went out completely and he restored it back new, she doesn't need dialysis, amen, she's on her merry-go-way, amen, still no praising medication. and no, no, me medication. no medication, amen, nothing but fight. Nothing but vitamins. Hold me out. Look at God. Vitamins, that's it. That's Nothing but vitamins. Amen. They Amen. They can't believe that. Amen. That's the power of God. Amen. At work in that's the body of Christ. Christ. And we yes, give so. him all of the glory. Oh. May the Lord continue to bless you and strengthen Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you for you. your testimony. Thank you, Father. Thank you for trusting God. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 God bless you. Thank He's you. a healer. Bye-bye. Thank you.